Okay, the general strategy for this problem is to realize that the volume of the rectangular prism will be given by the area of the base times its height. So there's a formula for the volume of this rectangular prism. Uh, we want to maximize the volume of the rectangular prism. That is what value of x will give us the maximum volume. So we'll take the derivative of v with respect to x. Uh, you could multiply these two polynomials together and then take the derivative term by term, or you could use the product rule, which is what I've chosen to do here. So that's the first function times the derivative of the second. Derivative of the second is 20, plus the second function times the derivative of the first, which is negative 6x plus 15. Distribute the 20, multiply these two binomials together, combine similar terms, and you get something that looks like this right here. Okay, and to find the critical numbers, we want to set that first derivative equal to zero and solve for x. And I did a little bit of simplification here, but in the end, I went to a calculator to find the values of x that set this equal to zero and found that their values of x that do that are approximately 0.612 or 0.5.72. And then I put the little number line here, uh, putting on these two critical numbers where the derivative has a value of zero. To the left of 0.612, like if I put the number zero into the first derivative, which is to the left of 0.612, I get a negative value which means the original function is decreasing. Between these two critical numbers, like if I put a one in here, I get a positive value. That tells me that this critical number produces a minimum volume. And then to the right of 0.572, like, like put a six in here uh, for x, I get a negative value, which means that the original function is decreasing. And the fact that we go from increasing to decreasing around this critical number means that this critical number produces a maximum. So if I could find V of 5.72, that would give me the maximum volume. Do I want to put 5.72 in here for X uh, and do it by hand, no way. But I did go to the Desmos online graphing calculator and do some calculations. There's uh, the original function V of X. I used the Desmos uh, derivative function to get V sub one. Uh, and I'll use that over here in this. Uh, no, I didn't use it there. Uh, I went ahead and solve this quadratic equation right here, which is the first derivative, uh, the second simplification step, and use the quadratic formula to get the values of x of 1 and x of 2. Uh, and there they are, 0. 0.6117. Then I found the volume at x sub 1 and got negative 3,425, and the volume at x sub 2. There's your answer right there. 576.93, whatever the units were. And I just created this table on Desmos to prove that it looks like at 5.7 right in here, we get a maximum. We can see the function is uh, um, starting to increase at 0.5 till we get to this critical number. 5.76, and then it starts to decrease again. Uh, I didn't put any numbers in here but for x sub 3 before the 0. 0.5, but uh, to show that it's in. Okay, so there's your answer. Uh, hopefully you understood that. I'll go back to here and uh, end the video.